Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at an approximation to the delta function uh, using the sync function. So, specifically, we are going to define a function as s delta of t equal to del delta times sine of pi t by delta divided by pi t. And we take absolute value to get rid of the negative values. So, this is a, like an approximation for the delta function, and as delta becomes smaller and smaller, this approximation becomes zero. In other words, delta of t can be defined as limit delta tends to zero s delta of t. So in this video, we are going to numerically verify this claim. So in MATLAB, we define an algorithm where we uh, construct the uh, this s delta of t function and plot it. And as delta becomes smaller and smaller, we iteratively plot the function and see that it actually looks more and more like an impulse signal. And we also look at the area of the uh, signal under uh, with respect to the delta value. So the algorithm can be defined as follows. The step one is we have delta underscore new is equal to del underscore old, uh, old minus one by n. So initially we have some basic steps where we create the time vector and we have the value n uh, with respect to which we control the value of delta. So the new value that is updated value of the delta that is delta new is equal to delta old minus 1 by n so n is the number of iterations so we have delta old minus 1 by n will be the updated value of delta and the second step is we have uh, we define the function itself that is a uh, sync delta underscore del is basically we define the function function definition <laughs> that is defined from uh, this equation one so from equation one so that is we define the function and then the third step the third step uh, we see if there are any uh, non numbers that is for example if there are any non numbers n a n s then what we do is we make the value of s delta of t equal to 1 at that location this uh, re basically this changing the value uh, this uh, reallocation of the value comes from the idea that limit t tends to 0 s delta t is basically one we can easily verify this from the uh, we can easily verify this from the definition of the function this as t goes to zero this function is basically one uh, it's one of the fundamental limits in limit theory one of the fundamental identities in limit theory so as limit t tends to zero as delta of t is equal to one so uh, in matlab when we compute this value we may not get the actual numerical value it might lead to some other non numbers so we might get something like zero by zero so what we do is we replace it with 1 and in the next step uh, we plot the signal and we iteratively plot this one with, refer with respect to different values of delta so the next step is iterative plotting first plot the signal for uh, with respect to time for the first value of delta and then we replace it with the uh, signal values uh, for the second value of delta and then we continue the process uh, until we get the last value of delta so iterative plotting so for that we use the plot function and then we use the draw now command and also pause command so that we continue and then 0 0.001 uh, is basically the time between consecutive plots next we update the delta value uh, update delta old and then in the next step we compute the area that is in the next step we compute the area of the signal so area of and finally we do some bookkeeping that is we keep this area in a vector so that we can plot it later so that is the uh, algorithm for uh, uh, basically building an approximate function or signal for impulse signal so let us look at the results run the code you can see the results and we can see that the side lobes of the sync function are gradually decreasing and they uh, slowly go to zero so as the value of delta becomes smaller and smaller the side lobes are almost non-existent and then this uh, approximation looks more and more like the actual impulse signal and the second curve basically shows the uh, area under the signal as a function of the value of delta as the delta value becomes smaller and smaller the area also becomes smaller and smaller so to summarize we have looked at a, uh, basically a sync function based approximation for the delta signal so as delta of t is equal to absolute value of delta multiplied by uh, sine of phi t by delta by phi t so like a sync function uh, that is sync of phi t by delta so this is like an approximation for the delta function uh, and then in this uh, video we have looked at a numerical way to 
build this approximation so the algorithm so the algorithm has several steps the first one is we uh, build the time vector and then we have uh, some a number of iterations and then we initialize the value of delta and then um, and then we select a value for the number of iterations and then we initialize the value of delta and then the first step in the uh, for loop is we update the value of delta with uh, the previous value minus 1 by n it's like a step size for reducing the value of delta and we gradually reduce the values and then we compute the function uh, and then if there are any non numbers in the function we replace it with the value 1 and this is motivated on the limit t tends to 0 as delta of t is equal to 1 so we assume uh, we suppose that the signal when we compute this value at this location t equal to 0 it is leading to some non numbers it is something like 0 by 0 so we replace it with the actual value like 1 and then we have plot for, uh, we plot the signal and we iterated a plot the, for the signal for different values of the delta and then we update the value of the uh, whole value of delta so that we can uh, increase uh, we change the value accordingly and then we compute the area of the signal uh, to for analysis purpose and then we also have some bookkeeping for the delta value and this uh, last section we also plot the uh, value of the delta versus I mean the area of the signal versus the delta values and then when we plot this uh, uh, approximation we can clearly see that the side lobes of the sync function are gradually reducing with the ch uh, reduction of the value of delta and as delta becomes sufficiently smaller uh, the, the side lobes almost disappeared and this curve basically shows the area of the signal versus the delta value as the delta becomes smaller and smaller the area also becomes smaller thus we can use a sync function as an uh, a sync function defined as uh, absolute value of delta multiplied by the uh, sine of pi t by delta by pi t or in other words absolute value of the sync of pi t by delta as an approximation to the impulse signal and we can when and using matlab we have clearly seen that as delta becomes smaller and smaller this approximation becomes closer and closer to the impulse signal thanks for watching